Hi everybody. In this video I'd like to talk to you about area of a sector as well as arc length. And I want to discuss some methods that aren't often shown in a math textbook, um, but I, I've come to think of them as pretty effective, at least for me. So I just want to share them with you. So first of all, what are we talking about when we talk about a sector? A sector is basically some slice of a circle. So right there is some sector, like a slice of pizza, and we may be interested in finding the area of that thing. An arc length, what we're referring to is not an area, but really a distance around the outside edge of a circle or some slice. So you could think of the arc length like the crust, the length of the crust of a slice of pizza, and the area of the sector like the total area of that slice of pizza. So again, in most math textbooks, they give you a formula to use to calculate these, and that's A-OK, -okay, and that totally is fine. Uh, I just find it challenging to memorize formulas, and anytime we can kind of wrap our heads around something conceptually, uh, it tends to stick a little longer. And I think we'll get there. Let me just try and make one, uh, convince you of one thing here. If I, uh, let me draw a circle here. And let's say that I sweep through half of the angles in the circle. So I cover half the angles. I don't think you would be surprised if that corresponded to covering half the area of the circle or also half the distance around the edge of the circle, half the circumference. What if we try a different circle and what if we just go through a quarter? So I just move my angle through a quarter of the circle, 90 degrees. Well doesn't that angle then sweep out a slice of pizza that's a quarter of the total area? And the length of the crust would be a quarter of the way all the way around the circle. Hmm. You might be convinced, but let's just try one more time. Let's make sure this relation makes sense. If I have an angle that sweeps out, let's say, three quarters of a pizza, three fourths of a pizza, then wouldn't that cover three fourths of the area of the pizza and three fourths of all the crust around the pizza? All right, and so there's this relationship between the amount of area uh, or arc length covered based on how much of an angle you sweep through. And what we're seeing happening is we're seeing that if I take the, the ratio of angles I sweep through, right, how does this angle compare to all the angles in the circle? It was half, or it was a quarter, or it was three quarters. That would be the ratio of the angle I swept through. That ratio is exactly the same ratio of area I'm covering, or crust, or, you know, arc length I'm covering. And so what we have is basically the ratio of angles, um, let's just say swept, you know, kind of moved through. That's equal to the ratio of area covered. And actually, it's also equal to the ratio of arc length covered the crust. Okay, so I could just take that idea and write that into a proportion then. I mean, here I've got one ratio equals another ratio. So that's one fraction equal to another. So the ratio of angles I sweep, well, there's a small angle and then there's all the angles in the circle, right? So for example, if I stick with degrees, this uh, would be 90 degrees out of 360 degrees. So I'm going to take the, the angle that I sweep through and divide it by all the angles in the circle. And you can do this in radian uh, or degrees, it doesn't matter, but if you're going to work in, um, just basically make sure your units are consistent. So these should both be in degrees or both be in radians. And if you're going to use radians, then we know we would call this 2 pi, right? Okay, well, now let's write the ratio of area covered. The area that I cover uh, when I sweep out some angle, let's go back to 90 degrees, that's the area I covered, that's the area of the sector. So I'm trying to find that, I'm just going to call it area then. And I would take that chunk of area and divide it by the total area in my circle, which 
area of a circle we know as pi r squared. And so that right there gives me a little relation I can use so that if you were to tell me an angle that I'm traveling through and I know the radius of my circle, I could tell you how much area you covered. Or vice versa, if you want to give me the area covered, I can figure out what angle you traveled through to make that happen. Okay, so let's just try one for example. Let's say for example, um, suppose we've got a circle here and let's say it's got a radius of 10 uh, inches. Let me give myself a little more room to write here. The radius is 10 inches and let's just say we sweep through an angle of 40 degrees. Okay, and I want to know what is that area? What is the area of that slice of pizza there? Well, let's plug in what I know. Let's go to this relation here. I know all the angles in the circle are 360. I know the angle I'm sweeping through is 40. I'm looking for the area. I'll just call it A so I can write less, but that's what I want. And I know pi r squared, the area of this circle I've drawn, would be pi times the radius, 10 inches squared. Now our final answer should be in terms of square inches, right? Because we're talking area and we're going to see the units work out. First look what happens. Notice the degree symbols cancel. And since I want to find the area here, I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by pi times 10 inches squared. I'm going to do that to both sides. All right, and so on the right, they're gone. And on the left, I've got pi times 10 inches squared times 40 over 360. And we could take a minute and put all that in the calculator. And I get a total of um, about 34.9 square inches in that slice. So I don't need to memorize a formula that uh, the problem with some of the formulas in the textbooks is they only work in radian mode. They take this concept uh, and they use radians for your angle and then you could just by basically isolating the area you'll get the formula that you commonly see in a math textbook. But I kind of prefer this idea because it's a little more conceptual. If I forget the formula I could probably figure it out and it works for degrees and radians. Now let's come back and remind ourselves we said the same is also true if I'm looking for the arc length that's being covered. Okay, so let's come down here and talk about that idea. When I sweep through a quarter of the angles, right, this is one out of four, right? The arc length that I cover this uh, is the same fractional component of the circumference of the circle. So this is one-fourth of the entire circumference of the circle. And so let's just kind of put that down here. We said that um, the angle I sweep through divided by all the angles in a circle, again, degrees or radians doesn't matter, just be consistent, use both the same. Okay, so if I'm talking this time about finding the arc length, right? Then what I'm comparing the arc length to is not the area of the circle. No, I'm comparing the arc length to the circumference of the circle, right? To the distance around the circle. Okay, so the arc length divided by the circumference, which for any circle is 2 times pi times r. All right, so that relationship is always going to be true. If you know the angle, then I could tell you the arc length you cover if you travel that angle. And vice versa, if I know the arc length, then I could tell you what angle sweeps that through. And maybe you'll run into a fancy problem where they give you the angle, the arc length, but they don't tell you the radius of the circle. Plug in what you know and go solve for the missing component. So let's just give this one a try real quick. Let's suppose I've got that, why don't we do that same angle. We found the area for this slice where the radius of this circle is 10 inches and we said this is 40 degrees. We know that the area was 
what, 34.9 square inches, but what is the arc length? What's the distance of that crust in inches? Let's figure it out. Let's take our proportion and plug in what we know. Wait a minute, I'm sorry, this should have been a 40 degree angle, I think, if I'm going to do the same one as the last problem. The angle was 40 degrees. That's the angle I swept through. All the angles in the circle make up 360. I'm looking for the arc length, so um, I'm going to call it S. For some reason, many textbooks refer to arc length as S. And then I'm going to divide that by the circumference of this circle, which is 2 times pi times the radius. Now, just like the last problem, I'm going to solve this equation for, well, in this case, s, the arc length. So I'll multiply both sides by 2 times pi times 10 inches. That gets the things on the right to cancel, and on the left I have that 2 times pi times 10 inches times 40 over 360, right? Because, again, the degree symbols cancel, so your only units on the left are inches, which is good. That makes sense. We're talking about how many inches of crust do I have here. And so we can carefully put this in the calculator. And if I'm doing it right, I'm getting about 6.98. inches would be the arc length. So I want you to use whichever method you find the most comfortable and again if you consult a math textbook they will give you two formulas for how to calculate arc length and a different formula for how to calculate area of a sector but really it's the same concept it's the same formula. Uh, and again, the beauty of kind of looking at it this way is you can work directly in degree mode or in radian mode. All right. I hope this was helpful. Uh, look forward to seeing you later. Keep up the good work.